Hey guys, welcome to DIY Land Art. I believe you also noticed that spring is coming with many blossoms and colors. Even trees that are not flowering may start to bud or regrow their leaves. I'm obsessed with the different shades of green. So in today's video, let's draw some easy trees in three different ways. Free procreate brushes and color palettes are included. Let's get started. I also included this note page for your convenience to reference and check the brushes we used for different ways, together with the brush package. Okay, first thing first, let's create a new canvas. Screen size is good enough. Feel free to use your own brushes and pick the color you like for this tutorial. But if you want to follow it more closely, I put together my tree brush set and tree color palettes for you guys to use. Check the link in the description box below. Feel free to download it and use it for your future work. You will find nighting brushes that you can use to draw trees and plantings in plan, elevation, and perspectives. Let's set this color palette at default. So those are the colors that I would use for tree crowns. Tree chunks, black and white of course, and some pop-up colors for flowering tree. First, let's get some rough lines in as guidance and lower the opacity a little bit. Create a new layer and pick the outline pen. Draw the outline of tree plan. Use M, W, U, N as major brush stroke. Loose at light side and dense at shadow side. Remember to keep your shadow lines at the same direction. Draw the outline of tree crown with same brush stroke. For the tree branch and trunk, Y as major shape. Clean and powerful turn a branches connection. Now create a separate layer for color. Set the line layer as reference for quicker selection use. Start with automatic selection and draw manually to make sure select all the plan area. Save the tree plant area for future use. Select the watercolor tree tube brush. Give the tree plant a base color. Add more strokes for the shape part.
pick a darker green and strands the shape part. Duplicate the color layer for tree shadow. It will make no difference on the white background, but usually we put the tree shadow layer on multiply. Adjust the brightness and hue to make it a darker purple-ish gray. Drag the shadow layer and lower the opacity. You can see there is an overlap in between the tree color and tree shadow layer. Let's select the tree color area. Select the tree shadow layer. On the drawing area, swipe down with three fingers to get the copy and paste quick menu out. Click cut to get rid of the overlap shadow. Same logic for the tree elevation. Start with the automatic selection to get the most area out. And then draw manually to select all the tree crown area. And save the shape after finished. Same with the plants, do use a watercolor tree to brush to get the base color in. Add more strokes for the darker part. And pick a darker grain to strengthen it. Add some light yellowish grain for the light part. Use the smudge tool to smooth the transition a little bit. Now use the tree trunk and a branch brush to fill the color. Second way, use the tree plant to stamp for the tree plant. The tree plant stamp was created with transparency. Sometimes you may want to duplicate the layer and merge it together so that you can draw more texture on it. Turn on alpha log of the tree plant layer so that you won't worry about drawing outside the boundary. Add some darker gray for the shape part and some lighter yellowish gray for the light part. Same as before, duplicate the layer, put it on multiply, and lower the opacity a little bit for the tree shadow. Adjust the brightness and hue to make it a darker purplish gray. Drag the shadow layer and get rid of the overlap part. For the elevation, let's use this realistic tree brush. Create a new layer and adjust the brush size. Give the tree crown a base color. Remember not to make it too bold. Leave some gaps and breathe room. Add more color from darker to lighter to create the volume.
draw the tree trunk and branch out to finish. Still Y as major shape. Last but not least, V3, which is most efficient in my understanding. Use tree plant one step. Add white line tree circle to pop it up a little more. Same process as before, duplicate the layer for the tree shadow. Make it a darker purple-ish gray. Drag it and get rid of the overlap area. Use tree silhouette 6 for the tree elevation base. Turn on alpha lock so that you can keep your drawing within the tree shape. This time, let's try the realistic tree 2 brush. Same logic as before, add more textures with different shade of green. From darker to lighter to create the tree walling. Do brown color for the tree trunk and branch to finish. That's basically it for the three trees. Let's add some grass for the ground and add some shadows to finish this drawing. I love this Nico Row brush within the painting brush set. You can use it to represent different textures. Okay, that's how I draw trees in three different ways. Hope you liked it and learned something helpful. Again, the link to this drawing, free brushes, and color swatch is embedded in the description box below. Feel free to download and use it for your future work. In the following weeks, besides sharing practical techniques about drawing on Procreate, I will also show you guys how I turned the filling perspective and diagrams into animated renderings with After Effects. Oftentimes, animation can help you better present your design and ideas to your clients and audience. So stay tuned. Please share this video with your friends, classmates, and colleagues who might be interested. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. <music>